Hi everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a length and an angle in a triangular shape. Okay, so we have this diagram here. And we've been asked to work out angle B, which is this angle here, and the length W to Z, which we've called length A. So we're going to work these two out. So to begin with, when we use the sign rule, we need to find a matching pair of angle and length. Because we have this length here, Z to X, which is nine centimeters, we need to work out the opposite angle, which is this angle here. And we can see that this angle lies along a straight line with the 74 degrees. So we can work out this angle as 180 minus the 74, which will give us 106 degrees. So now we've got the opposite angle, this angle and this length. And we can use these to work out this angle because we know this opposite length is given as four. So if I draw this triangle out separately, and we'll call the angle we're trying to find theta. So the idea is, if we work out this angle theta, then we can add this angle to this one, which we told us 14, to work out the bigger angle W, Z, Y. So we need to work out theta. And because we want to work out an angle, we need to use the sign rule where the angles are a numerator. So we'll say sine of the angle 106 divided by its opposite length 9 is equal to the sine of theta, which is this angle here, over its opposite length, which is 4. And now to work out the theta, we can multiply both sides by 4, and that will cancel off this division here. So we'll have 4 times the sine of 106 over 9 will equal the sine of theta. And we can work this out on our calculators. So the sine of theta will be 0.427 to three decimal places. And then theta will be the arc sine of 0.427. So theta is approximately 25.3 degrees to one decimal place. And I'll write this on the diagram as 25.3. So now we can work out W, Z, Y, this angle, as the 14 plus 25.3, which is 39.3 degrees. Okay? So the next part of the question is to work out the length W to Z, or length A. And because we want to work out a length, we're going to use this version of a sign rule where the lengths have a numerator. But again, we need a matching pair of angle and length. And because we have this length, we need to find this angle. And we can work this angle out by using angles in a triangle to find this angle, and then angles on a straight line to work out this one. So this angle will be 180 minus this one and the 25.3. So minus 106 minus the 25.3. This comes out as 48.7. And then we can use angles on a straight line to work out W, X, Z. And this will be angles on a straight line, 180 minus the 48.7, which gives us 131.3. And now we can use angles in a triangle again to work out angle W, which will be 180 minus the 14 minus 131.3. And this gives us 34.7 degrees. Okay, so now we have a matching pair of opposite angle and length, we can work out length A. I'll draw this triangle separately. So we're trying to work out this length here, which is length A. So we'll substitute these values into this formula. We've got nine over its opposite angle, 
sine of 34.7 will equal length A over its opposite angle, the sine of 131.3. And to work out this A, we'll move this division to the left hand side. So it becomes 9 multiplied by the sine of 131.3 over sine of 34.7. Working this out on our calculators, we get A is approximately 11.8 centimeters, so one decimal place. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe, and you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again, and take care.